water is incredibly heavy. One gallon weighs eight pounds. Women and even small children are carrying 20 to 30 liters, that's 44 pounds, or 66 pounds, on their heads. And they're walking for kilometers, over a mile, carrying this water uphill from rivers each and every day. But it takes away from their ability to do other things. Kids don't go to school. And we have to figure out systems to provide this water directly to their homes and have it be of high quality. I'm an environmental microbiologist by training, along with engineering. I had a cross-discipline research where I had engineers in connection with microbiologists trying to address some of the important critical contaminants in water. In many cases, the women understand that there's a problem with the water. Each day, they can bring in poor quality water to their children, realizing it might get them sick, but they have no other sources. And so we're developing systems at Johns Hopkins in collaboration with many companies and other researchers, systems that use multi-barriers. We have a coagulant, something that will form a flock in the water that when it settles out, it will pull particles and microorganisms out of the water and then goes to a different system after this treatment to have an additional barrier to protect the water once it's been treated. One of the most important things is after producing high quality water, you must protect it and store it safely so that when it gets to the individual's mouth, it is still of high quality.